Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out the newest Void Legendary. Is he a meta-breaking nuker or is he a total flop? It's Volcanan. We're going to be checking him out. Big shout out as well to Just Panda for letting me jump onto his account to bring you this showcase. I obviously do not have the champion myself, uh, but let's go. Let's get him up here. Not Valkyrie, but Volcanan. What is going on with this champion? Who, by the way, is always he's looking over there. I don't know what's happening over there or th that way. Which way? This this way. But he's he's looking. He wants to know what's going on. This champion has like the the craziest uh, kit in the game, right? With all this stuff, it's absolutely bananas. There's a ton of stuff going on here. What do we have going on? In short, thirty percent speed aura. That's really cool. I think one of the key things about him. This move right here, Death's Bargain, where he kills one of his own allies to unlock a secret move. That secret move, what does it do? Malice Unleashed steals all buffs from the target that cannot be resisted. If the target is more attack, he gains their attack as a bonus damage multiplier. If their attack is less than his attack, he's going to ignore 50% defense. He ignores block damage, unkillable shield, and ally protection. And if he kills them, he places block revive. So it's sort of all about this secret skill and what it can do. Now, whenever he kills somebody, he's also going to put out weaken and true fear that cannot be blocked or resisted and fills his turn meter 75%. He also gets himself like a, a big shield if an ally is already dead and he targets somebody's corpse, which is kind of interesting. He does have an AoE. Every hit is a single target attack, not an AoE. That's interesting. That places out Hex, does more damage for every debuff on the target. And his A1 ignore shield can increase enemy debuffs and do debuff spread to other enemies under Hex. It's a bit of a weird kit. On top of that, he gives himself a shield whenever a champion, either ally or enemy dead. He takes 50% of their max HP, makes it a shield. So lots of survivability there. And whenever an enemy hits him while under a shield, he puts a random debuff on the enemy. And it could be anything except for sheep, smite, or boss stuff, which is kind of funky. Yeah, very funky. A lot of stuff going on here. Certainly the worry is that he's just going to be sheeped because he puts out weak and true fear. And they're not, they just bypass block debuffs as well. So there's a big worry he's going to be feared, but we'll see how it goes. We have him built here or, well... Uh, Panda already built him in Savage and a little bit of Stone Skin. And how's he looking in terms of stats? So 5.7k attack, 242 speed, 255% crit damage, and high accuracy, about 400. So we can test him out in Hydra as well, right? We're going to see him in the arena, but also in Hydra, because, right, obviously the arena potential is there to block revive. For Hydra, Killing our own ally? Can we reset the Devour timer with that? Can we exploit it? And he's also bringing AoE Hex. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, AoE Weaken as well. That could be cool. Let's try it out. Let's see if it actually works or not. I'm certainly curious. I think it could be a bit dodgy because he has a Blood Shield, which is going to give him more shields and enable his passive. But is he going to be targeted by the Head of Mischief and have buff stolen? I don't know. Uh, these are the masteries we have set up. So we do have Helm Smasher. We have more speed when an ally is dead. I mean, he's killing one of our allies. So this makes a lot of sense. Getting him back to his move. And yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I like the build. Let's see what we can make happen. It's going to be a bit funky because obviously on this account, Panda's account, it's one of the strongest accounts in the entire game. We're going to be going up against very, very powerful enemies. Can we actually pull it off? Can we make this happen? Or are we going to kind of get destroyed? I think Ultimate Death Knight is going to be a little bit of a problem, actually. Uh, let's try. Maybe this team looks a bit more. Well, we might be outsped. Plus four on this. I'm not used at all to being in Platinum these days. Uh, probably a lot of Platinum people would be looking at it and going, wow, no Empowered Champions. That's an easy one. Let's go. Uh, let's try. I don't know. Let's try. Let's try it. Let's try this one against this Arbiter. We do have obviously some insane champions here as well. Uh, let me pause it. Let me think about what sort of team to put together. Let me think about that. Okay, so here we go. I've got an idea of a team here. I'm curious to see how it goes. We've got a bunch of plus fours. Uh, so, I mean, Balkan, and he's going to struggle a little bit to shine in this context. Um, and certainly I'm worried about this five star polymorph duchess. But the idea of this team, we have the speed aura to make us faster, uh, which is going to be great. We've got our Yumiko who hopefully be better than his Yumiko, right? We're a plus four. We should beat him. Uh, then we've got Necret the Great to protect Vulcanen, keep him alive, let him do his thing. And we're probably going to kill the Yumiko, I suppose. I don't really know. It's one of those things. It's kind of tough. 
I feel like you want somebody to keep Vulcanan alive because he is quite squishy till he gets his move. So we're going to use that. Uh-oh, the enemy team is actually faster. Well, that's no good. And we have been locked out. Well, that's a slight bummer. Can we survive with this protection, though? I guess that's the question. Well, we'll hit right here. Um, not sure if we can live this or not. Let's find out. Okay, he actually did survive thanks to the protection right there. Now, his skills are probably going to be on cooldown. They are, so it's going to take a little while. Oh, that's a cool animation, though. We get to see how he actually looks. Stone Skin's going to protect us for a bit, um, but I guess we'd hope that this Leo will die. Who do we hit here? Let's attack the Arbiter. Let's see if we can kill her off. Uh, did decent damage, but nothing too crazy, to be honest. Um, I guess we'll protect Yumiko here. I, I don't really know. We can reset our skills and push his back. That will do. Boost up. Let's see if Sifi can survive this Leorius onslaught. Uh, the Falconan, he is surviving purely thanks to Necret. We haven't seen him do any like special debuffs or anything either. Let's put this over on Yumiko, see if we can lock her out. Okay, and now we get some turns. I think the awkward thing here is, who do we kill? <laughs> who do I want to kill? I'm not sure who I want to kill. We could kill our Yumiko. She's done her lockout. She's kind of done. We could just revive her, bring her back. Let's do that. Let's kill Yumiko. Goodbye. Oh, and we've been turned into a sheep. It has happened. Oh, that, that feels bad, man. Turned into a sheep. Oh, not a fan of that. Let's protect Sifi. Keep her alive at least. Oh, no. It's a disaster. <laughs> First fight and he's sheeped right away. There's only one sheep as well on the enemy team, but it was enough to take us down. Um, I think we could probably sleep him for a turn. Let's see. Will Vulcanet, will he come back with his move? I don't even know. Uh... We're fairly slow, so they are sort of, let's put decrease attack on this guy, or not. We could fail. That that, that could happen as well. He's, oh, he's going to stay a sheep an extra turn. They never break free of the sheep from that first attack. Never happens. Yes, we'll revive her again. Oh, he's dead. That's not ideal. Uh, let's keep stealing turn meter. I, I don't know. He's probably going to lock us out again here. Um, <laughs> what we really need to happen is for Vulcan and to stand back up quickly and hopefully kill this Leo is sort of the only hope we have. We've got no defenses left on her. He's going to have his stuff reset. Oh, Vulcanan's going to come back. He's going to die straight away. He's coming back. He's definitely dead at this point. Uh, we keep stealing that turn meter. She's actually resisting, believe it or not. Oof. We're almost down. Um, nothing we can... Let's keep going. We can make... Can we pull it back? I'm not sure if we can pull it back or not. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I feel like in this team, if we, oof, if we just had a Rotos, would we just have won? Like we could have actually started going straight away instead of being locked out and just wrecked, basically. Let's try against this team here. Yeah, we've got plenty of gems we can afford. Maybe my team build sucks. What would you do differently, though? It's hard to know what to do differently in this circumstance. Okay, good. So we go first, lock them out. We, we won the speed this time. That's good. That enemy we fought last time must have been hella fast, by the way. I'll just tell you that. I won't reveal all the bills here, but let me just say you must have been hella fast. Uh, right, let's target. Let's see. How does this A1 do? No increased attack. I mean, it's okay damage, but nothing special. How many? We've got one sheep, and it's only three star. <laughs> We've got a chance. That's what I'm trying to say. We've got a chance. I guess we just put this... We're going to kill Yumiko, so I guess we put this on Sifi. Is Yumiko's just going to die anyway. Let's boost up. Okay, great. Let's, I don't know, put this on, on Kaimar, I guess. She's going to die. There's not much point in stealing turn meter. Okay, they're doing some moves. Right, let's, let's kill her. Come on, fingers crossed. Okay, cool. We, we, <laughs> we didn't get slept. That's good. That's a win. Uh, let's go in for an extra juicy hit here. Let's see if we can get rid of his Yumiko. I'm worried about her cooldowns coming back. He doesn't do that much damage, even with that ally attack. His A1, it's not hitting crazy hard. Oh, we've been slept. That might be okay. We'll bring our Yumiko back as well. Ah, uh, she's reset us. Oh, and we slept through our turn. I think that means... I think that means our, our move is gone. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we've been stripped again, and he's dead. Oh, yeah, this, is a, this has been a rough start so far. Um... This has been a rough start. Uh, I think we just leave. I think we call that one a loss as well. Let's, I guess, re refresh and go again. 
Um, not, not, not very compelled here so far, to be honest. Right, let's, let's try this one more time, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this feels rough. It's like he gets his turn and he's fast. Like he's built fast. He's got 200 and something speed, but he gets his turn. Man, these enemy teams are super fast. That's just insane. Uh, we just keep getting locked out. Oof, and he's dead. He's, he is down. Okay, maybe this works in our favor <laughs> somehow. Does this work in our favor somehow? I don't know. Oh, he's been sheeped, of course. How many sheep do they have? Sheep here. Oh, he's six star sheep. Bit of a disaster. Let's just see. We didn't get sheeped. It's a Christmas miracle. See if we can control them somewhat. This is uh, not looking good. All of our stuff is on full cooldown here. It's going to take quite a while. Let's see if we can steal turn meter. Try catch back up, maybe. Um, I don't know. Sheep him. Okay. Oh, I woke him up. I wasn't really paying attention right there. I think we, I think we probably just lose this anyway. Um... I don't know. Uh, right, let's steal some more turn meter. We're getting back towards a reset. Uh, never mind. We're just we're, we maybe are just dead. Actually, it's looking like we are just dead. <laughs> oh my god, this is brutal. I don't know what else we can do. Honestly, I mean, do we just bring in like an arbiter? I, I guess. I guess we just bring in arbiter next time. Uh, let, let's go back to the drawing board. Apparently, this team doesn't work at all. He he sucks. All right, let's try this one. We picked a guy. He's got no plus fours, right? No plus fours, but they're sheep. I'm worried about the sheep, but let's give it a go. What else? We're going to bring in Arbiter. We're really going to try win this speed race here at the Yumiko. Try lock him out. See what we can do. Okay, great. So we we lock him out. That's nice. Increase attack is on now as well. So we've got that going for us too. We have increase attack. We could potentially... Let's see if we get some kills here. Here we go. He ignores shield with his A1. Man, it's done nothing, but that's not really his fault. We'll protect Arbiter. He stole Stone Skin, of course he did. Um, okay, and we've got to go again. So we can decide what to do. Again, I think we probably kill the Yumiko. Um, right, let's do it. Yumiko dead. No sheep. We got lucky. We did not get sheeped. It's a Christmas miracle. Let's revive Yumiko. Give us even more turn meter here. Um, who are we going to try? I guess we're going to try kill him. He has weaken on already, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Uh, let's hit, I don't know, let's just hit this guy. Fine, cool. Decrease his turn meter a bit. He survived the hit right there. He actually got decreased resistance from the random buff. All right, we've got it. We finally have the secret skill ready to go. Maybe Arbiter was the key to making this happen. Steal all buffs from the target. Well, he's got nothing stealable. And uh, yeah, we should ignore 50% defense. Let's see, is it enough to kill Taras, one of the, the tankiest champs in the game? Let's give it a go. Taras. Oh, that is a... That's a cool animation. 54k. Not enough to kill him. Taras, to be fair, is taking half damage from skill. So against other enemies, that would have been more damage. Still a little bit underwhelming, huh? Little underwhelming. Uh, I mean, let's hit the Sifi, I guess. Let's see what we can do. We've got... Let's try our AoE. Let's put this at one time speed as well. Let's see the AoE. Visually looks cool. Oh, we got block. Oh, we got block passive skills. That's actually really nice. Hmm. I tell you, that's pretty interesting. Like the debuffs he's putting out there. Unfortunately, he has decreased attack now. Oh, and he's had everything is stripped off. Okay, we're in a little bit of a rough spot, to be honest. Let's attack. Uh, I don't know. Does it even matter? Let's attack him. Do a little bit to him. Why not? And I don't know. Attack him, I guess. But I'm not super convinced. Oh, man, and we're just destroyed. <laughs> did that crash the game? No, it didn't. Man, we're just losing everything. Uh, let's do one more refresh. Give it one more go. I, I can see why. When I asked Panda about this, he said this champion absolutely sucks. Now, I don't know if we could change any of these builds and whatnot, but it does seem in this particular meta that it's rough. Maybe we need to try. Maybe Duchess? Maybe du uh, Let's see. Let me check that. Let's see about Duchess. All right, guys, here we go. We got Duchess in instead. She's not plus anything, but uh, I don't know. We'll give, it, we'll give it one more shot. I don't know what else to do here. Uh, Valkanen, he's just, he's not really making the cut. So we are faster, ridiculously so. Again, we've got the 30% speed aura. I guess that's the best thing he's been doing is the 30% speed aura. Right, we've survived so far. Uh, again, let's, let's kill Yumiko. 
Goodbye, Yumika. We didn't get sheeped. That's good. Let's put... Um, let's ally attack. Uh, I don't know who to lock out here. Let's ally attack. I guess the Arbiter. All right, we did some damage. We'll shield up the Duchess so she's protected. Okay. Um... I think, do we just give him increased attack? Let's just give him increased attack first. Let's help him hit as hard as possible. Let's give him every chance. Well, actually, of course, he can't one-shot. Because this attacks one enemy. It's going to hit Ultimate Death Knight, so that's no good. Let's go in with its AoE. Let's see how hard the AoE is going to hit against this enemy team. Now, that did big damage. That really, that really destroyed them, actually. That was pretty nice. But yeah, Ultimate Death Knight with Stone Skin. Also frustrating the secret move. Oh, I... <sighs> I feel like this is kind of awkward. He's kind of like... Maybe he needs to be built in stone skin. Oh, shit. He's killed Duchess on full auto. Uh-oh. Well, let's see how hard he's going to hit here. Stole all the buffs. Wow, 200k. Well, he, he, he really hits hard. When he actually gets a hit in, he does hit very hard. But... I don't know. It's a bit awkward. <laughs> I feel like Yumiko won that. I don't, feel like, I don't feel like he did anything particularly useful compared to the other nukers. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, Panda's impression of this champion was this champion is absolutely terrible. I, th I think it's it's pretty dodgy as well. I think I think at lower levels of play where you're not going to have anywhere near as much polymorph, so you don't have that risk, um, and where the teams are also going to be weaker. I, th I think you've got more of a chance, but it's actually more awkward than I thought for killing an ally, right? To kill an ally is kind of awkward. And even with that turn meter, and like I said, he is not slow. He's 242 speed. This is not a slow champion, right? Well, I guess maybe compared to like the other stuff in here, maybe is a bit slow. Like, let me see, like how quick is his Rotus, for example? Rotus, yeah, similar sort of speed, you know? I, I just don't, I don't know. Like, he's not in the level of gear they're in. He does one-shot fairly well. Taris survived, but Taris takes half damage. That's okay. Um, I feel like he could one-shot nearly anyone else and, and block revive, and that's somewhat useful. But, man, like, he, he just struggles. He really struggles. Like, it's difficult to keep him alive. Hard to keep him alive. Hard to make him do his move. Um without wiping your whole team as well. It just seems really awkward, honestly. Uh, really awkward. I don't know. Like, I maybe he needs to be, like, to compete at this level of play, maybe he needs to be, like, a plus two and more, like, five-star awakened. I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with Platinum, but initial impressions were for this endgame, certainly he seems pretty rubbish, <laughs> to be honest. He seems kind of awful. Um... Mm. Because, yeah, he gets his turn, and then he's like, yeah, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to kill one of my own teammates. It seems pretty bad. Right, let's give a go. Let's give a go of Hydra. Let me throw together a Hydra team, and I'll be right back. Okay, actually, so it turns out Panda already did have a Hydra team put together. I'm not quite 100% sure why we've Molly in the lead. I'm going to click go, and let's go. She doesn't have an aura, so that's a bit unusual I mean, this team should obviously smash Nightmare. I'm just curious, is Balkanen on auto going to kill Molly because she's in the lead? I'm, I'm guessing he probably will. Let's see what he's going to do. Got a Krizia popping off. We've got two million in the bank already. <laughs> Pretty nice. What's Valkanen going to do? This, uh, these Akrizias are, are almost soloing Nightmare. Okay, he's gone in. He's done the AoE Hex. That's good. AoE Hex is good. Now his buffs have been stolen. That's a bit annoying. Mishinaki steals them back, which is helpful. Um... Yeah, let's see what happens here. Uh, so we didn't get the block debuff spread. Maybe this team needs to be done on auto, actually. He's been provoked and he's dead. Now Molly can revive him. Maybe this needs to be done on... It's free regroup. Maybe this needs to be done on, on manual. Let's presume it's a manual team. I'm still very confused why there's no, no aura. That's a bit strange. Um, okay, well, let's, block, let's just block stuff there on turn one. That should be pretty good. Um... If Alkanen's going to place the Hex, we don't actually need the Hex here, do we? So we can come straight in with a decreased defense. Molly can provoke. I guess it means we've got no Hex for Acrisia, but that will, I guess, do. Let's do the AoE. Do the AoE. Okay, we didn't have the luck this time. Vulcanen can come in with the Hex. The damage is really nothing special. Like, in terms of being a damage dealer... 
he's definitely not bringing it in my opinion compared to what others would be would be bringing i'm going to reapply the hex just make it last as long as possible let's target this head right here now where this becomes interesting is we can use vulcan n to let's just hit this head bonk bonk cool we can use vulcan n to um reset this timer right so let's actually let it tick down and see what we can make happen i was going for the decrease thing right there it didn't quite work i see we can spread the burn it actually spread the burn to everyone that a1 was actually pretty good that was kind of cool okay i kind of i kind of dig that that was nifty let's go for the provoke again fortunately that's going to go on somebody else stealing the buffs but that's fine let's see how we go Extra turn on this Acrisia is going to be pretty juicy. Vulcan, and he's certainly squishy. Like, that's definitely an issue. Right, cool. That head is dead. Beautiful. Um, yeah, we can put the block debuffs back on everything. Vulcan, and do we want to kill somebody at this point? Let's, let's, let's kill... Uh, no, let's not kill anybody quite yet. Let's do this. The debuff spread. Again, go for that decreased defense. Get that rolling. Okay. Uh, we got to let this tick down a little bit. It's what I think. We got to let it tick down for Vulcan to really do his thing. Going with the AoE. Beautiful. Increase speed on everybody. I guess we hit... Do we hit the decapitated head or does it cap... No, I guess it caps the damage anyway. So we want to hit something else, right? We want to hit like this head or something. Yeah, because she's doing max damage basically anyway. So we don't really need it. Uh, we can come back in with the hex. Sure, keep it up. And that's kind of nice, but... I guess we, we all also have Michinaki bringing the Hex on this team, so it's not super duper useful. Reapply the Provoke. Didn't land this time, but I think we should be good. I, I think we're going to kill them before it matters. No decrease speed. Um, here, let's hit this head. We'll just hit the highest HP head with her for the... Yeah, it does more damage with her, actually. I don't have a Crizia, so I'm not used to playing with her. My god, though. <laughs> Two Crizias is pretty nice. But I think you can, you can instantly see doing this run, like... Who is the better cha who's the best champion here? Who's doing the most right here? You know, is it is it Vulcan? I don't think so. And that debuff spread is good. I, I like his A1. That's a good A1. But like, is is Vulcan N useful or is a Krizia useful? You know? Even Michinaki. Like, which one is better? Um Yeah, it's it's a little bit awkward in that sense. I don't know. Let's hit this head, I guess and right let's wait till we come back around i suppose there we go let's put increased speed on us for now if i get ahead of things here a little bit yeah hmm um it's de definitely not reset yet let's see if we can spread that block buffs of course we don't have hex on anybody so it's not going to spread it quite yet that's okay just do the aoe nuke because we can this one it's the only one that's probably should have saved the aoe nuke but she is so quick i figured it might not actually matter okay good let's see about getting uh decrease attack block buffs and everything we got it provoke beautiful okay unfortunately we're not gonna have the decrease attack here let's put hex back on so that's on that's good let's see what we can do um so who can we actually hurt only this head that's fine let's smack this head then shut down well, we're going to one key very quickly. Uh, I'm going to do her A3 next turn, so I guess that's fine. I um, guess you can A1 right there. Hex is already up, but we'll just respread it because we can. She needs to A1. We actually need to get back around to another turn for her to provoke, so hopefully that will happen. Okay. At this point, look, she's provoked anyway. Let's see about resetting this counter. Bam. So we kill her. We put weaken on everything. That's kind of nice. Well, unfortunately, it's on him now. So there's no stopping that. But that's kind of interesting. Like, he has reset the counter. He's bought us more time. It's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, I'm a little bit worried now that we might get screwed, though. Uh, we definitely need to just provoke first and revive second. Um... Yeah, let's put this on him. Make sure we get the block buffs up. There we go. His debuff spread is cool. But he's not, not super convincing otherwise. I think he's, he, might he might actually just die. Just 
Normal die. <laughs> Awkward, right? I survive her. I mean, let's see how hard he's going to hit. Oh, he didn't get the secret. Wait, he didn't get the secret skill. Oh, he must have missed a turn. He must have missed a turn and he didn't get the secret skill. I guess that's what happened. We can strip off this. Oh, it got resisted. That's a bit unlucky. It's very unlucky, in fact. Um, I guess just keep hitting this head right here. Hmm. Th this run has, has actually become a little bit spicy. Like, he's got a nice shield because somebody died, but uh, looking a little bit underwhelming. I, I guess hitting this head with the max HP makes the most sense. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Reprovoke, sure. What What do you guys think? What do you guys think of Valkanen? I think his damage at the end might look okay. But, um, yeah, let's see about spreading the burn. All right, we spread the burn to everything. I mean, that is nice. That's good. See about putting more, spread more debuffs. We spread even more. That's kind of nice. Uh, we'll stop when we get to the one key damage. I just want to get that far and see how we're looking. But certainly in terms of being top tier, being like an Acrisia, being like a Grisor, it's certainly not immediately obvious that he is doing well there. Yeah, because we didn't strip off the decrease attack, that really hurt. A little bit unlucky we didn't strip that off, I think. Oh man, we're kind of falling apart right here. I'm I'm probably playing this wrong. I feel bad because I'm not familiar with this account. I feel like I'm probably misplaying it. Like, am, am I making this fail horribly? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure what I should be doing differently, but it feels bad so far. Let's revive him up. I mean, since he died, I mean, there's one nice sort of perk. Because he died, it does mean that... Um, you know that they're, the 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 timer's flipped over to somebody else, <laughs> but yeah, I mean maybe we want to be running him with a shield champion, you know. Uh, but that being said, Mithrala is probably the best shield champion, and she's already bringing Hex, so that's a little bit awkward for Hydra. Um, yeah, like we could kill her again, but sort of what's the point at this stage? Let's just look for some debuff spreadage, I guess. Let's uh, see about spreading this burn around. Sort of got resisted. Fine, I guess. But the block buffs. Uh, we can... We can... I think we can just A1 at this point, actually. We don't need to extend the provoke. We're going to get smacked pretty hard, so... Um, is there anything we can do about that? I mean, if we killed off this head, that would help. Give us a shield. I think she's just going to activate him, though. Uh, we just go for it. We're going to get smacked, but we survive. He's almost dead anyway. We're just going to overpower it. We got the one key. We'll stop at 40 million. We're about to hit it right here. Bang. Disgusting. Okay. End battle. We're certainly not going to save this key. Vulcanen. Um, did like 4 million. Like he's not, he's not doing any real damage. I think most of it is the hexes that were his. Like when he takes credit for the hex, it's giving him hex damage. Certainly the damage that he's actually doing is nothing special. It's quite awkward. What do we think about this champion? I'm certainly disappointed. I, I'm, I feel like I maybe went into this a little bit expecting to be disappointed because Panda used him and said he sucks. Um, but I feel like he's pretty disappointing. Like for Hydra, the reality is, yeah, extending, extending debuffs and debuff spread is nice. Um, but with a good Hydra team with good speed control, that's often not that useful. Um, it's often not that useful. Uh, you know, like if you've got good speed control, which is usually the goal in Hydra, you should be kind of running circles around them. So I suppose if you've got an earlier game team where you're struggling with the debuffs, that is kind of nice. He does bring Hex and that's good. That's fine. But look, this just doesn't do that much damage in Hydra. Like you compare it to a max HP damage. It just doesn't hit that hard in Hydra. The damage is underwhelming. Um, it's just not that special, really. It, it, it's obviously going to be good for like normal and hard where max hp damage isn't that strong but that, that, what's the point in that really for a void legendary it's not that, that that impressive so yeah he does bring the aoe hex which is cool and he does bring the debuff spread and extending debuffs like both of those things are nice but neither are amazing i think especially with the cursed set in the game right now it should be fairly reasonable to get hex into almost any team and i certainly think compared to michinaki who's bringing decreased defense decreased attack and burns he's doing a bit more um, this is definitely cool that you can kill one of your allies and reset that timer. But it is a little bit awkward in terms of needing to revive them. They're missing their turns. There's definitely some awkwardness to it. 
And the extra turn meter he's getting is not that useful. Um, and yeah, we didn't even get to see this because he got feared and he <laughs> missed his turn. I guess this would hit reasonably hard, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold. The shield? I mean, when he's got a shield, he could potentially be putting out lots of debuffs on the enemy. Uh, like, we did have him with a blood shield, so he was doing that a little bit, but it's just not really reliable enough. I don't know, and the speed aura is not doing anything for you there. It's awkward. He's awkward. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I still have some hope for him for, like, live arena. Let's see what the reviews... People are liking him well enough, like 4.7, 4.8. People are finding him pretty decent, but I don't know. I'm pretty skeptical. I'll definitely come back to him. Like, if I got him on my account, I think he'd actually be really good for me in Arena because I'm not going up against such crazy opponents. I think it'd be much easier to set up these the secret skill and the speed aura would be helpful. I think I could actually use this in Arena and having a block revive would be quite good. But it does seem at the top end stuff that, you know, you've got so much polymorph. He just really gets polymorphed in a high end play. So that's a bit underwhelming for Hydra. We'll see. I'm I'm still not super sold, um, but like he, do, I guess he does keep resetting. He does keep resetting the devour timer, and that's useful. But he's not bringing a ton apart from that. I don't know. I don't know about this champion. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Thank you for watching. It was a little bit of a look. I don't know. Don't know. I I still like to get him because I think he's unique, but. Initial impressions were that he's fairly poor. Hmm. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.